finna get juicy. Pay disciple, not bad and bougie. His Love. <laughs> I've been working on it for weeks. Mm. Oh, and it paid off. Why, you even got the, the throbbing vein right in his neck. <laughs> Steve, the one that you caused? <laughs> we back at it again. Life lessons of Stephen Lord. It's Stephen Lord time all the check and watch up uh, time. You know what I'm saying? And what is the life lesson here? The life lesson, you see Stephen Lord, you they trying new things, you know what I'm saying? Seeing what new skills they have. You know, so that would be the life lesson. You know, go out there, try something new, read something new. You never know where to take you. Let's go. Oh, this is definitely an A. Oh, can you keep an eye on it while I go wash my hands? Make sure nobody touches it. It's still very wet. Oh, you got it. Well, I'll watch it like a home, baby. Mm. Oh, you're being too trusting here. She's being too trusting. Hey, big guy. <laughs> no, but, but here's the thing, too. They probably wouldn't have done this when they were still in middle school, you know, or anything like that. But they're maturing. They're growing up now. And Lord, she's forgetting. And why is that? Because she's seeing Steve in a different way. And so she is forgetting, oh, wait a minute, this is still clumsy Steve. Okay, I hope people pay attention to that. Hmm. Hey, man. The nose is just not right. Yeah, this is Steve Urkel being Steve Urkel. Messing up stuff. Oh. <laughs> Steve, what you hiding? What you hiding? Oh, Steve, what did you do? A great ashtray in there, just dying to get out. You are so dead. <laughs> Laura should have never, she should have never trusted Steve to watch out for this. He breaks everything he touches. Leave your valuables with people that you know got shaky hands, okay? <laughs> Is this yours, Laura? Uh -oh. Mr. Freeland, I can explain. There's nothing to explain. This is brilliant. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I love it. It's bold. It takes chances. Oh, Laura, it's an A. Told ya. Steve, you, you lucked up on that one, buddy. You lucked up on that one. She could have failed. You call it. Men in turmoil. Whoa! Which Steve is going to be. deep. <laughs> Looking cute. Curtis. Ooh, Curtis is popping up. Uh-oh. What's wrong? He looked like he got that Usher look on his face. These are my confessions. Curtis got something on the mind right now. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, so I mm. guess I should just say it straight out. Yeah, sometimes you got to I'm do not that. gonna be able to take you to the prom. Mm. Curtis, I've been waiting for this night my whole life. I'm sorry. I'll call you next week. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't understand why Laura's disappointed. Poor Curtis. Yeah, and poor you. You're going to miss your prom. Maybe not. There's got to be some guy who has I have a date. I don't have a date for the prom either. <laughs> I guess this means you guys are going to have to go together. <laughs> Maxine. Maxine's motive was not pure there whatsoever. <laughs> I'm one and only senior prom. I mean, think about it. Why shouldn't we go together? Hmm. Wait a minute. I just thought of another choice. Oh, what? 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 You could turn into Stefan. I'd love to go with him. Mm. Gosh, please, Steve, leave Stefan at home. <laughs> Leave Stefan at home. Goodness gracious. The whole evening would be about him and nobody else. Yeah. Great idea. Tell you what. I'll it is. I'll the chamber and I'll be back in the chamber. It really isn't a good idea. It really isn't. Aha, uh -huh, Steve. You thinking about it, huh? Yeah. It's not a good idea, is it? Right. Uh-huh. No. No. Mm-mm. This is my prime. It's his prime. No, Stefan ain't probably even opened a book, read a book. He ain't done. What is Stefan's education? We don't know. Come on, Steve. Stefan didn't go to Vanderbilt High for four years. No, you put that work in. I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stefan wasn't captain of the of the chess team or the president and only member of the cheese club. Mm. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> that 
that's not a club, buddy. That's that's a what the, what do they say that that is? That's not a club, bro. That's a hobby. That's a that's an extracurricular activity after school that you wouldn't do by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight's my night. My night. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to the prom even if I have to go all by my lonesome. Mm. I'll go with you. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Under Ooh. two conditions. Ooh. So name them, baby. Two conditions. Name them, baby. I want your solemn promise that you won't bump, break, or destroy anything at the prom. Mm. I promise. Steve, tell the truth. I'll try. He'll try. There he goes. And so if we didn't go, she didn't really want to go with Steve. You know, she wanted to go with Stefan. Laura just showed you what her concerns were with going with Steve. Don't break, bump, or destroy anything. Laura does not want her prom night to be destroyed. So that's when she knows that that is what Steve is good for. But now she's like, all right, Steve, I'll go with you. If you can promise me, you will try your best to not do this. It's just, it's really a beautiful thing. Come on, let's go pick up that tux. Yeah, let's go pick it up. So Laura can... Oh, Look at these two, looking good. Everyone gasped. Of course. You're so beautiful, you take their breath away. Ooh, Steve, that was smooth. That was smooth, Steve. Okay. I see what you're doing today. Is that imagination, or is your voice low? Mm. <laughs> Got some things loosened up. Oh, gosh. He's so... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Get him. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Yeah. Laura was, you know, really wanting to go with Stefan, but Laura doesn't realize that that probably would have ruined her night because it would have been all about Stefan. You can see right now, Steve and Laura just having a great time together. Y'all feel me? Look at that big smile on her face. It looks so good together. Outside would probably be the best place for that. Right. Outside would be the best place to get the fresh air, for sure. Depending on where you live, though. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Such a gentleman Steve is. Steve and Laura, all they need to do is be together. You know, because Steve can, you know, Laura's like, oh, I need some fresh air. Out here with Steve, like, oh, outside would probably be the best place for that. You know, he could have been asking for a slow dance, if you know what I mean. But this is what I'm, this is what I keep saying about Steve and Laura. Like, really, as long as they're together, they good. Hey, gorgeous night. Hi, glad you like it. I ordered it special just for you. There's no doubt about it. Mm. You're the most beautiful girl here at the prom. Thanks, Steve. Mm. You're the most... Improved guy at the prom. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to know who picked out their outfits so perfectly. Like, just, like, both their, his, his tuxedo that he got going on, her dress, it's just, they look amazing. Can I tell you something? I just want to say that I'm very proud of you. Hmm. You haven't caused one single disaster all night. <laughs> well, I am on my best behavior. I'd hate to ruin such an important evening. Right, right. I wonder if people just see the stillness. Don't pay attention to the to what's going on over there. Pay attention to Stephen Lowell right now. Just look at how, this is what I said that he doesn't have with Myra. Just the stillness right now. You know, we, 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 we don't, we're not still enough anymore to even appreciate this. We can't stay off of our phone for 20 minutes. We can go and do this. You know what stillness is? It's peace. You know, it's contentment. It's you know, uh, being comfortable around somebody, you know, and you just see this here, but I think we always take this for granted when they come, when it comes to Stephen and Laura is the stillness that they have with each other. One of the things that he gets from Laura that he does not get from Myra. Laura, want to know a secret? Hmm. Sure. Even though I'm going steady with Myra. Yeah. I've always dreamed of going to the prom with you. Hmm. I know, you asked me when we were six. <laughs> well, I didn't want to wait till the last minute. <laughs> what Steve basically said is, yes, I'm going steady with Myra, but that has not changed anything for me with my life, my feelings, and my future with you. <laughs> Just look at the stillness. We take this for granted so much. Steve. I always fantasized about what my prom night would be like. Mm. Ooh, fantasize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pictured a handsome date dressed in a gorgeous tuxedo. Mm. Um, 
Then he'd pick me up in a limousine and we'd dance the night away. Hmm. And that'd be the best time of my entire life. Best time of my entire... It's a nice fantasy. No, it's not a fantasy because you made it all come true. Ooh. I did. Laura does not have to gas Steve up. She just brings value to him. That's what she just did there. But let's check this out. Such brilliant writing and such execution by Kelly and Jalil, Stephen Laura. You know, dream and fantasy are interchangeable, right? And if you see Steve here said, you know, um, I always dreamed of going to the prom with you. See, a lot of people think that Steve means in this isolated situation like they're in now. And you have to remember, Steve has always, you know, talked marriage and, you know, babies and wedding night. You know what I'm saying? So Steve is probably looking at it from the standpoint that, Steve, that you know, him and Laura will be in a committed relationship. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe a couple years down the road, you know, he put a ring on that finger. She walking down the aisle, you know what I'm saying? In her white dress. Steve has probably had the dream like that. You got, you have to remember that, right? I don't think, you know, that's what Steve's whole thing has been is to remember to have all of Laura, not just some of her, but then you got to go look on the side with Laura. Okay. Where it's, it's just, it's just beautiful where Laura says, you know, um, I always fantasize what my prom would be like, but then she describes Steve. Are you guys seeing where I'm going? with it okay you know good and sweet well laura did not fantasize about having a good time at the prom with steve what you're seeing here is that steve had to alter his dream laura had to alter her fantasy to get them into this beautiful place that they are now that's the one thing that i feel like we can take away from is understanding and being okay with the fact that you're you may have to alter your dreams a little bit, but it does not mean that they're still not going in the right direction, as we see here with Stephen Laura in this moment. You know what I'm saying? There's only one thing that's keeping this from being a perfect night. Mm, she says a perfect night. Well, what's that? Mm, mm, yes. mm. Ah. Ooh. What's happening? What's happening now? She's, I, I just love how Laura said, it's, there's only one thing. Oh my gosh. There's only one thing from keeping this a perfect night because it's already been a perfect night. And it's a kiss? A kiss. Right? Something that Steve has been trying to get out of Laura for a long time. And now she's voluntarily doing it. But not, not in that way, but in a way of this is what tops off this perfect night. It's me giving you a, and not even just, y'all, y'all see what it is. Not even a kiss on the forehead, a kiss on the cheek. This is a kiss on the lips, a passionate one. Okay. All this stuff works together. <laughs> ah, it's such a beautiful thing. It's such a beautiful thing to behold, to behold. The Bible says to be still. And know that I am God. There's a reason why God says to be still. Because there's a reason why your parents taught you back in the day. Be still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There is some, There is a peace that comes with stillness. Right? And one thing that you will see about Lord. That Lord brings to, to Steve a lot. That Myra doesn't. Is a peace. Is a calmness. Is a stillness. Of about what Steve brings out in Lord. Is her selfness. Okay? Well, we, we want to call that selfness. Okay, Steve brings out Laura's selfness. You know, um, you know, people say confidence and all that. No, it's selfness. Laura gets to just really just be herself and be admired and be loved and be enjoyed. You know, um, just being, uh, I told you, on her selfness, just being herself. And that's really what we should desire. So if you see people sit up here and you think, well, Steve's being himself with Myra. No, because you're here's the thing. You're never being yourself. If somebody is always gassing you up, you know why? Because you're probably trying to live up to their level of gassiness. Y'all, I'm just putting them out there, okay? Take it how you want to take it, okay? But you, 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 you get what I'm saying? Their heightness, right? How much they, their capness, if you will. Like you, you, you find yourself having to try to live up to that. And you'll see in these moments where, Lord, where Myra has to always gas Steve up. Laura doesn't have to do that. Laura brings value to Steve just being around him. She, Laura don't have to gas him up. All she has to do is be around him, be genuine, be her amazing self. And it brings such value to him. And that is the difference in what you want. You don't want somebody. I keep trying to tell people. 
You think you do. You want somebody that's going to gas you up all the time. No, you want somebody that will bring value to your life and you're bringing value to their life. This is what I want to keep saying. And I said, and, and I'm going to let my sis say it. Hold on. If it's not for me, Lord, then let it be delayed. We got it's not for me, Lord, then let it be delayed. Yeah, we had to play that again. Listen to these lyrics again. Go, go listen to my sis. You know, that's Reese. Go check her out. Her music is fire. But she said, if it's not for me, Lord, then let it be delayed. Do y'all understand the power in that? If it's not, remember, most people will say, Lord, if it's not for me, then take it away. She says, Lord, if it's not for me, then let it be delayed. Because again, Steve and Laura, could it possibly be something that's not for you because, because of the timing of it? This can be wrong for you because it's in the wrong season. It doesn't mean it's the wrong person. I'm saying they share, look, they share in the sugar. Okay. Share in the sugar, but it's not for him just yet. Because most of us ask for what we're not prepared for. It's not God. Even just like, and that's what she's talking about. God, if it ain't for me, be delayed. Like I may not be ready for it. Steve is not ready for all he's asking for with, from Laura right now. Because remember what Steve is asking from, from Laura. It's not the same thing he's asking from, from Myra. Okay. He's, you know, he's asking for Laura's hand in marriage, right? He looks, so what Steve is asking from Laura is till death do us part. Okay. That's what he's asking for. And Steve is not even ready for that. How do you know Steve's not ready for that? Multiple different things. But one of them is not under him, not understanding time and season. Right. Remember when he went back, I told you, we, we, let's, let's bring it. But so was Laura. Mm. I saw her rejecting me over and over again. And I realized something. Hmm. I can spend my whole life chasing a dream. Or I can let a dream catch me. It's wicked, 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 wet. So, and, and so why am I bringing that back up? There's a couple reasons, but one is when I keep talking, when I, when I'm saying Steve is not ready for what he's asking for. See, this is what a lot of us get into. We go and we ask this, um, you know, or we desire this thing, but we don't prepare ourselves. So this is the thing. And I said this before in another video where it's Myra and Steve, you know, whether, you know, buddy, buddy and why they don't grow, you know, and why they just act like children around each other is because neither one of them really knows how to build for the future. Neither one of them knows how to actually, you know, um, uh, build a lasting relationship. What's, what's happening with Steve, friendship, I should say, is happening between Steve and Laura, but it's happening organically. He's not initiating it and Laura's not initiating it. You know what I'm saying? And so what, what Steve doesn't realize, and, and, and I just want to use this as a, as a theme because we all get here, what Steve doesn't realize how God is still working, right? Just like she said, if it's not for me, then Lord, then let it be delayed. Because there's probably stuff that she recognizes about it like, oh, you know what? That might be for me, but in this season, it's not for me, God, so let it be delayed. And this is where the maturity, where Steve needs to have even there. When he goes, I saw her rejecting me over and over again. Let me say this. When we talk about rejection, once again, with Laura, it was only romantically. I'm going to say it again. It was only romantically is not, it, it was not rejecting him as a human being. It was not rejecting his purpose. You know, his, his calling it, it no, she actually amplified that Laura jumping in the water to mess up her hair so that Steve can continue his edge, all kind of stuff that she did that fostered his brilliance real quick. Understand in a dream, most dreams will not catch you. The only dreams that catch you is they catch you slipping. <laughs> those are the only ones that catch you. Okay. Other, those are the only ones dreams. Don't, it's not reality for a dream to catch you. That's not reality. Right. And so that's what I, you know, w w would keep saying about it when it comes to Steve, when he said that, I told you it's one of the, thank you, Chris Cross. Cause it's one of the wiggity, 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 wackest lines I've ever heard Steve Urkel say. And it's not because it's Myra. It's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And unrealistic. Because the thing that you will recognize about a dream, this would, again, that I would say this happening right here with Steve and Laura, that Steve doesn't realize it. And Laura does not realize that their dreams are coming true. Their dreams, Steve's dream is coming true. It's just not coming through the way he would like it to, but it is coming through. And so is Laura's, right? Laura may have had a dream to have a husband and, and to be loved and to be valued and to be cared for, to be able to be herself, you know, um, for him to be smart, maybe be a provider. These things are happening. They're just not coming for Steve, it's not coming in the way that he thought. And with Laura, it's not coming in the package that she thought. 
You, you, you know what I'm saying? And we have to understand that that is for anything that we're doing. Go for your dreams and don't be afraid when you have to alter it. Can, do you know this? No one's, no one's probably ever said this because, I, because I've, I've never heard anybody say this. Do you realize that your dreams will be altered even in positive things? Like we have to understand that good or bad, if you really have a dream or a goal, it's going to get altered. But altered does not mean that it's wrong. Altered does not mean it's going in the wrong direction. Stephen Lore is Stephen Lore is a very inspiring, not only love story, you know, but friendship is such an inspiring and, and you can look at it in a romantic way with yourself or with your goals or your dreams. Some things feel like they're off, but they're really working. Some things they feel like they're working and they're really off. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to understand that and understand the bumps along the way. It's all a part of the journey. Love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you. Falling, falling deep